and welcome back to You Read John at 120. I'm Jeff Cliff, and this is another video of a logical fallacy that I think that you should know. And today we're going to be talking about moving the goalpost. Uh, so uh, this is otherwise known as raising the bar or special pleading. And it can be summed up in a, in a sense in a quote uh, from Rational Wiki, uh, quote, if at first you don't succeed, redefine success. Uh, the, the basic idea here is that you're, if you're in a situation where you're arguing with an opponent and it starts to look like your opponent is actually winning the argument and you uh, have framed the issue in a sense that the argument is even something that can be won or lost where there's some kind of social status or face that you would appear to lose if you were a particular side, whether blue or green or red or blue or gold and black or blue and white or whatever side you pick uh, ends up losing and what you end up doing is not accepting the loss and saying okay well I was wrong now I have learned something you instead redefine the terms of success uh, you re redefine what success means you change what it is for your opponent to have to do uh, to win the argument uh, and so in, in game theory terms if you view the, the, the debate or the, the conversation as a game where you're trying to show that something is true, you're changing the game as you play it. An example of this, uh, right off the bat, is the no true Scotsman uh, fallacy, which I don't think we've really gotten into yet, but the, the basic idea is that a, a person will say, well, I, I see that, um, you know, that that person is, uh, you know, wearing a kilt, but he's not a true Scotsman, because a true Scotsman would play golf, and that person clearly doesn't play golf. And of course you can point out that even in a place like Scotland, not everybody plays golf. There are some people who are in wheelchairs and uh, who just don't like golf for whatever reason. Uh, you know, perhaps there's you know, some, some, some kind of a, an issue with their ability to walk or swing in a coordinated faction. And you can say, well, those people are still Scots. They're Scotsmen. They're true Scotsmen. They came from Scotland. At, at which point the argument, the goalposts are moved again. Well, they don't drink scotch, so they're, so they're not true Scotsmen, you know, the, and, and so on and so forth. So you can, you can always push the argument, the conditions of success in an argument, one step further. Uh, and in fact, you can usually push them one step beyond what's even possible to disprove, uh, one step even further than what's logically possible uh, to, to uh, apply reason to. And so, this is where you get into the, the, the problem because you're no longer in kind of an honest uh, conversation. You're no longer in an honest debate. Uh, if you agree that there's a winning and losing condition, you're no longer playing by the same rules. You're, you're no longer playing the game. It would be as if you're playing soccer and you know your team goes up to the goal uh, or, or the opponent comes up to your goal and you know kicks the ball and some of your fans pick up the goal post and literally move it back so that the, the you know, the soccer ball doesn't go into the goals, or, or I I inside the goalposts. Uh, so it's, 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 not, it, it's not fair, it's not honest, and if you're trying to reason correctly, uh, you won't end up doing this. What's worse is you can actually get into the situation where you start applying power relationships. And so if you're not just talking about some issue that you want to convince the other person of the trueness or falseness of it, uh, but you're actually allocating resources, or possibly uh, distributing violence, or um, making it so that you know they have to give you some privilege. Uh, and if those situations are introduced and goalpost moving is happening, what you really have is bullying. Uh, so you'll get bullies that will literally say stuff like, "Okay, well, I'll go away if you give me your lunch money." Uh, you know, I I have no problem pushing you around. Uh, but I could be convinced to go away if you give me your lunch money. Of course, the trick is is that once you give them the lunch money, they want more the next time, or or they want you know the, what money is in your pocket in addition to your lunch money, or they want that money and your shirt, or they want that money, your shirt, and to take your girlfriend or something like that. And it, it just kind of escalates further and further and further uh, until it's like I'll stop beating you, and, you know, if you stop telling the authorities that I'm beating you. You know, it, it, it can get into these really toxic and unhealthy situations where you're trading, you know, violence 
you know, or, or the, the the appearance of the stopping of violence uh, for for things that you really shouldn't be trading away. And so that's kind of an extreme case. Uh, but e even in, in less extreme cases, uh, what you should be doing is if you are at the point where your information and your beliefs are being defeated by new evidence, you should improve your beliefs and update your beliefs based on that evidence. The person who you know, plays a new game is not doing that. They're uh, not admitting that they have been defeated and they are not actually growing as a person and taking this new information into their self as something that can inform them and guide further action. It's easy to apply this uh, to other people and do so in error. Uh, one word of caution is that to make sure if you are accusing someone else of moving the goalposts, that you're uh, honest and careful about your stance while doing so. Uh, if they didn't redefine their goalposts, then you are merely interpreting their goalposts as being moved. Uh, they may not actually be guilty of this. And what the problem in that case may be is that you're not fully understanding the goalposts or the stance of the goalposts or where they are. Uh, uh, you're not modeling their mind and their arguments sufficiently in your mind because you're lacking the information that they have. So it, it's, it's kind of a, a treacherous thing to accuse people of, even though it happens all the time and in a lot of different co contexts and conversations. Uh, in particular, this is going to come up if the terms that you're using haven't been fully defined, kind of like the last video, where if you're uh, into a situation where you're, you have goals and you really want to achieve these goals, but the goals themselves haven't been really defined sufficiently, you can achieve something that looks like those goals, and maybe even you could admit uh, that you know the, the goal, as far as the, the syntax of the goal, has been achieved, but the spirit of the goal hasn't been achieved. And that's where, of course, you're going to want to do. But it's it's not your opponent's fault uh, that you were not able to clearly uh, describe the goal in question. So, for example, uh, if you're um, you know campaigning for equal rights uh, for women, for example. Uh, it is entirely possible that someone could say, okay, well, you know, you, the, 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 the women of the world have, or, or at least in this country, have the right to vote, uh, they've got equal employment rights, they are driving more often, so that they're, they're in control of automobiles at a greater rate, they're getting science PhDs at a greater rate, well, you know, so therefore, there's equal rights, right? And so we, we're equal. And of course, the, the, the feminist opponent will say, no, we're still disadvantaged, we still are un underrepresented in computing sciences and uh, engineering, et cetera, et cetera. And unfortunately, if that's the only argument, that is an example of movement of the goalposts. But of course, what it would be clearer would be to set aside some criterion before you even get into that discussion to say, okay, well, here is what we want and what we mean by equality. And so you have to get into these points of view uh, of the other person in order to agree on the definitions before you start achieving things. Because if you don't, you're going to get into the point where people aren't going to believe that progress or any amount of progress in any direction is going to be enough. And so they will push back even on things they may otherwise agree on if there was an actual endpoint in place. And so uh, it's, it, it's a, a problem of definitions to a large extent. Just like the true Scotsman, you know, what does a true Scotsman mean? Wh what does it mean to be a true Scotsman? Well, you know, you, if you define some, you know, set of things uh, or, or some conditions that this defines someone as a true Scot, true Scotsman, then you can reason either inductively or deductively, which again we'll get into later. Uh, but you, you can come to a conclusion that it is one or the other. And yes, it's going to be difficult to do this in practice. You're going to s sometimes have to employ some kinds of fuzzy logic or other, you know, not necessarily clear ways of getting to the, that endpoint. But if you don't do it, you're going to risk moving the goalposts. You're going to risk getting into these situations where you just can't get to a point where you can agree at the end of your argument. And so it's also worth pointing out that you can, of course, change the terms of debate even after the argument has started. In this case, you're changing them in such a way that you're, you're not allowing the argument to converge. You're not allowing, allowing the argument to end. You're, you're, you're purposefully uh, trading off your social status and your reputation for knowledge. You're, you're choosing rather to be informed, to be right. Uh, you're, you're, you're 
you're you're trade making that trade off in the game, in, in the in in the terms of the game, in the terms of the debate, in the terms of your ability to reason with another person. Uh, so, is that the only way that you can you can change the terms of debate? The only way that you can change the the means in which you're reasoning with another person? No, of course not. You can take the other stance. Uh, in general, it's good to be conservative in what you espouse, or, or in what you, you know, say, or what you, you give out to the world, and general in terms of what you accept from the world. And this is no exception, where if you're allowing the other person just the, the respectfulness of being able to define their own goals, uh, if, you, if you can talk about that, you can sometimes get to the point where you can get an acceptable goal, or acceptable goal posts, uh, for both parties, and that is something that you could then work for. As long as that, you know, those, the, the, the conclusion or the ability to conclude is within the realm of possibilities, you can work with that, you can reason with that. That should be something you can work for, so that you don't have to be constantly moving goalposts around, so you don't have to be constantly changing the terms of the debate after it started, in a way that doesn't converge. This happens a lot on Facebook. Uh, Facebook and specifically any thread uh, or any forum where thread or uh, threaded discussion is not allowed, uh, you, you get into these kind of reoccurring discussions that don't really go anywhere. And part of the reason that they don't go anywhere is it's hard to define these goalposts. It's hard to, to clearly state what would have to be true in order for someone to be convinced, in order for resources to be allocated, in order for people to agree on how they can agree. So, this is the problem. How do we solve it? Again, look, look to see where the goalposts are. Um, so, hopefully that's uh, something that's valuable for you to, to know to look out for. Um, as usual, there will be some kind of a, a donation a Bitcoin address if you're interested in donating. Our uh, dry erase pens are slowly dying here. Um, but uh, hopefully this is something that you enjoy, and uh, we will see you next video.